Okay, well, uh, sorry I haven't made a video for a little while. Um, I'm going to do a couple today. Um, the first one I want to do, um, it's really a bit of a call out to all of my... I hate using the word aposto, but I'm going to use it for, for want of a better term. It's a call out to really all of my aposto friends that um, subscribe to my channel. Um, I very much enjoy watching a lot of your videos in terms of exposing Watch Tower Doctrine and um, showing showing the flaws in it and that kind of thing. I really, and I hope this doesn't come across as offensive, I really wish though that perhaps some of you on some occasions would perhaps just offer some words of hope to perhaps ones that have recently left the organisation and perhaps are looking um, still have a belief in God but now they don't know where to channel it and I really feel like perhaps all of us really should do more to try and help these people as opposed to just bashing the Watchtower organisation over the head um, which is what we all do um, is perhaps just offer some words of hope to people that still have a belief in God but they have come to the right conclusion that the Watchtower is not God's channel but now they don't know where to go so first of all, this is a call out to anybody who is watching this video, um, who has come away from the from the Watchtower organisation, um, that there is still hope, um, and uh, really to a call out for perhaps for some other people to to show ex witnesses and current ones um, that there are other uh, other options, other ideas. But really, the most important idea for somebody with a belief in God is that really that this has all authority over everything it is that you believe in if you do ha if you are a Christian. Now if you're a, an ex Jehovah's Witness and you still have a belief in God but you've recognised um, the issues with the organisation but now you do not know where to go you don't want to walk into just a random church um, perhaps you've just become completely sick of church altogether I can tell you that's exactly how I feel at the moment because uh, I've gone to so many different churches over the past few years um, and I really struggle uh, probably because of my Jehovah's Witness background to fit into any church that I go to um, I really want to encourage you to take out your Bible again and I want you to have a look at John 14 if you have a look at John chapter 14 and just to set the scene really in verse verse sort of 5 Thomas is asking Jesus, Jesus has told his disciples now that he's going to go um, and the sacrifice is going to be made and Thomas says to Jesus um, in verse 5 he says no we don't know Lord Thomas said we have no idea where you are going so how can we know the way now to me this is how I felt when I came out of the organisation or when I stopped attending the meetings should I say I had no idea where it was I was to go the answer is in verse 6 and it is so simple in verse 6 Jesus told him Thomas I am the way the truth and the life no one comes to the Father except through me if you had really known me you would know my fa who my father is from now on you know him and have seen him so here Jesus is not in telling Thomas that you need to go to a church um, that you need to join a religion he simply says that I am the way he then goes on in verse um, verse 13 of, uh, of the same chapter he says you can ask anything in my name and I will do it so that the Son can bring glory to the Father. Yes, ask me for anything in my name and I will do it. So this is really something that I would really encourage every ex-Jehovah's Witness to do. If you are feeling a little bit like Thomas and you just don't really know where it is you, you need to go now um, in order to tell God that you still have a belief in him, do you need to go and join a church or anything? Well, no. Jesus didn't say that. He simply said that I am the way and the truth and the life. And he also said that anything you ask me in my name and I will do it. So here Jesus is saying that if we want something, that we ask him and Jesus will do it. So I really want to encourage everybody to do that today. Okay? I want to encourage everybody 
for the first time probably ever for you to actually pray to Jesus okay because that is what he said in John 14 now you just just pour your heart out to him just that's just that's what everybody that's what I did and I tell you what I can't tell you the feeling that I have every day now waking up at peace knowing that I have Jesus in my life and knowing that he is the truth and that peace that you wake up with every day I can tell you it's like nothing that you'll ex ever experience and don't be afraid of the fact that you know you've come away from the Watchtower organization now what why do you still hang to what it is they they believe in in terms of um, the Trinity why do you still hang to what it is they believe in in terms of heaven uh, you know you, you recognize that they're, that they're a false organization so look it up for yourself don't take what it is you know that they that they've taught you because you've already recognized the fact that they've preached to you a lot of lies so unfortunate and unfortunately the Trinity is one of the things that they have taught you uh, as well by twisting scripture but here I think uh, the Bible is, is, is accurate um, I even think if you've got a New World Translation you'll still get to the same conclusion that Jesus is clearly here stating that we need to pray to him um, and um, that we can ask anything of him and he will do it for us so I'd really like to encourage you to do that today um, if you are an ex-witness that is still looking for somewhere to channel your belief in God Jehovah you can do it through Christ Jesus and not through an organisation or to any church